come forward and and uh, with this presentation. Splendid. Please, uh, Kalambayi, bring your meeting in here. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, come on in. We have to call you by name. <laughs> Brother Earl. This is Brother Earl O'Neill. Brother Earl O'Neill um, has 30 years of experience working in the labor movement, uh, working in campaign as a consultant, strategist, and what have you. Uh, and has a, a hell of a lot to contribute to this discussion that we're talking about. And beyond that, Brother Earl O'Neill uh, is volunteering to become a resource uh, for uh, the efforts that we're making. So if you're in Chicago, you need some help, and he's worked in Chicago for, right. for the, to elect, uh, what's our guy's name? Harold Washington. Harold Washington. Uh, in New York, you need some advice and what have you. To Alabama, this is, he's volunteered to be a resource for that, and that's a, extremely important. And, uh, and uh, that's, that's, uh, that's uh, Aaron's daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Brother Earl. Okay. Good evening. I, I, first of all, I know it's late in the evening, but um, I want to uh, first... Uh, what are you going to do, man? I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, I worked for 20 years for the American Federation of State County and Municipal Employees. Asked me. Um, and do many of you know who would ask me is or what union that is? Not you, not you. I ain't asked you yet. Anybody know that? It's a union. But you know what union it is. It's the union that Dr. King was fighting for down in Memphis, Tennessee. You know, and um, we, we are, it's a public employees union, which basically a good percentage of their membership is African American. And the PowerPoint presentation that I put together, it, it was something like this when, we, when I first started working there. We would put this kind of presentation in a room just like this, we usually start on a Thursday and go through Sunday. Yeah. And what we would do is basically train our members. And when I'm talking about members, I'm talking about cafeteria workers, school bus drivers, public works people, and train them how to get involved. It's the same thing that we're saying here because at the time, and even now, unions do not have, especially public employees unions, do not have the money to compete with corporations. And if anybody, if you remember, when Trump had the unions there at his office for a meeting, you saw no black folks and they were building trade unions, which those guys was right. Most of their membership voted for Trump, you know? Even when you talk about ASME, when you're talking about service employees, you know, um, you know the white members vote. Even though they get the money from the state, the state of Wisconsin, that's where ASME was born. But I was meeting the other, the other day, a fundraiser basically, and the guy said they lost 75,000 members to right to work for to change the law. I say all this is that um, my role was to go around the country and I was the associate director for voter mobilization. And I would go all around the country and um, basically getting out to vote, mobilizing voters. And what, what I did, now put that one back up there. Put the second one, that one. That's my name. That's my where I live at. That's my county council district. That's my precincts and council member and that's my school board person. 
If none of y'all can't do that right now, you, you, that's where you got to start at. If you don't know none of that, and matter of fact, by the end of this, I want y'all to get all that. Yep. Now, you got all, everybody talk about technology. You suppose, if you don't know that, you, 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 you don't need to do nothing else. I'm retired now, and, but uh, and Aaron can tell you, I go to school board meetings. Aaron graduated, how many years ago you graduated from high school? <laughs> A long time ago, but guess what? I'm still on the, on the PTA board at the high school because you can't get a parent up there unless four people got shot. And the school board and the PTA, the PTA where you find what's going on the school board, you find what's going on. You gotta find out if, if they're teaching your kids. You know what I mean? The county council, what they're doing with your money. I listen to Byrne, um, and, and, and do y'all know about Prince George's County, Maryland? Yes. It's the richest county, black county. You know what I mean? And you wouldn't think it's no problems. But we got a white police chief, white fire chief, white school superintendent. But everybody's happy. And when I say by that, and this is no lie, and Aaron can tell you, Up the street from me, and I'm, I, I don't make no money because I got four kids. He's just one. He's just the middle one. We have people with four-door Porsches, four-door Maseratis. Uh, a Mercedes-Benz SUV is like the Ford or something. I say all that is because, but in the election, the turnout is low because they're happy. Tomorrow, they'll be at the big churches. And so what I'm saying to you is that, and then we have, and the chairman heard me call him, I have a new name for people, black folks, user-friendly Negroes. <laughs> Negroes who's scared to offend white folks. I live right across the uh, way from Washington, D.C. You have a mayor there who has a $128 million surplus. She got $2 billion rainy day fund. When she was elected, she lost every white ward. But yet, she catered to white folks. You know what I mean? Um, and I say all this because, um, uh, go to the next one, Is where, where is that one at? I always, this is, if you ever get an email from me, that's what I have it about. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. Everybody can do something. And that's, that's what a campaign is about. You got to get people to do something. The person always talking to you, rapping, you got to put them in your campaign to do something. You know what I mean? Go to the next one, please. This is a saying that I, y'all got sayings, you know. I always say some things you can't blame on white folks. You know what I mean? Because some things we just do not do. When I talk about the schools, we don't go to school to make teachers teach. You know what I mean? When, you don't, when they don't see you up to school, they can do that anything in that school. We have a school right now, Fullwood Mole. You know, they're trying to get the, the teachers who was going to strike just to get the mold. The parents, they don't even have an active PTA. That's on us. That ain't on nobody else, you know what I mean? But that's the things we're going to go through, you know what I mean? But go to the next one. And, and like I said, this is a second response that is to train everybody. Precinct targeting, recruiting, effective voter registration, the whole thing. That's what this whole thing is about. And like I told the chairman, um, and he, he probably, he, he just crossed his mind. I had done this before. I had helped the, the, the party when we had, when had the brother running up in Philadelphia. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, Diop. And I basically, yeah, I basically <laughs> looked at the numbers and, and saw what he, what he needed to do. 
And just like I showed you them numbers, I asked, I asked Brother D, I said, D, I said, well, who, 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 where, what district am I in right now? Who's who running this to show? The brother couldn't tell me. I was saying, but bro, you know, Brother D, I, wait a minute, bro. You can't be running for mayor. You don't even know who running around here. You know what I mean? Who is this county council, I mean, city council person there? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You, you can't be running for mayor. I say all this to say that you have to know your environment. You got to know what's happening around you. You know, I'm going to go down this little list. And, and, and let, me, let me start. I'm going to go down the list on here. And we can go through the slides also. Go to the next one. And what I did basically in the slide is, is basically why we should get involved and things like that. But let me, let me go to one thing like fundraising. Everybody, you got to raise money. You know what I mean? But you have to. And you have to raise enough money to compete. And in the slideshows, and you'll get it, uh, you have it, it shows you you have to have a, a treasurer, a fundraiser chairman, and a fundraising committee. But that doesn't mean that you got to outraise your opponent. Right. Perfect example, two examples. I don't know, in Washington, D.C., we had a guy named Adrian Fenty. He was the mayor. He won election. The boy got to be the mayor. Every black woman that had a position, and I'm not kidding with this, he basically riffed them. The teachers, if they was 50 years old, riffed. Um, uh, child family services. We had uh, uh, assistant social workers. The Thursday before election, this guy riffed almost 126 women. And what he did is, he said, oh, not in fire. I mean, they can get the job. These are people who had jobs that they came right out of high school and had. But he said, they can get the job, but they have to have an associate degree. He was the darling of the white folks, the Washington Post and the white folks. They loved him. You know what I mean? The guy raised $7 million. Seven million. He put, <laughs> let me tell you how crazy this is. He put the police chief at the time was 35 years old, a white woman. She stayed there up until last year. You know what she, her title is now? She's the vice president for security for the NFL. Because see, what also would happen, the man after him kept her in there. This one present mayor kept her in there. I mentioned Fenty, and, and I'm, I'm getting to the campaigns now. When you run a campaign, or when I come in the city, if I came in this city, the first thing I would do is go down to the Board of Election. I look at all them numbers, and I'm not getting on nobody. You just can't be running and going everywhere. You uptown, you down, you got to look at how people vote, where they vote at, and that's in there also. We can go a little further. I, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go slide by slide, but it's in there. You can go to the next one. And, I, and um, but I look at, you know, that's a candidate who's trying to run his own campaign he going to lose. You can't run. You have to have a team. In the next several slides, you can just go through them so people can see it. But um, when you come in, in a city, I used to go in a city, and they say, well, they have Charles Burns organization, and it's the greatest thing in the world, and blah, 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 this, and we get everybody out to vote. I go look at the numbers. Yeah, he gets somebody out to vote, but it's only 30% 30, 30 turnout. You know, what we was, what we would, what I would do is, is go to help and how to enhance that turnout. You have to go uh, by targeting, go to the next one. And you have to have a campaign manager. The campaign manager basically is basically the most visible person other than the candidate. Because when the candidate can't go, go someplace, he has to go. You know what I mean? He, and he's also the one who de delegate authority. He has to direct that team to do everything. You know what I mean? Next slide. 
And like I said, preparing is a great deal of it's, you know, the success. You got to prepare a campaign. You have to put place, things in place to make sure that your campaign is running. And like I said, you have to have a team. You know what I mean? You form a stern committee, appoint a chairman, the whole nine yards. That's basically talking about your team. And it goes through, that's what I did. And, and, and each one, it tells you what you need on your team. You need a chairperson, if you can, somebody basically who is well known in your environment that can help you raise money, things like that. A treasure you need because it's legal papers that you have to fill out. You report you have to file, whether it's quarterly or annually, I mean not quarterly, monthly or something like that during the campaign. You can't do that, you know what I mean? Appoint an issues chairman. You have to find out what the issues is. You know what I mean? You may think you know what the issues is, but you have to put a committee together to find out what they find out the issues are. Research director. You have to basically have somebody to find out what's the registration laws, what's the, uh, 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 the, the laws as far as, uh, like, like uh, Mr. Burns say, about poll workers and poll watchers. You know what I mean? You, you, in some places, you can have a pro worker outside, but a poll watcher is the, basically the person that goes in and get the numbers. And if you haven't beforehand, a week before, or sometimes two weeks, f gave them the name of the person to walk in, then you just can't walk in there and get numbers. So that's